is a football star at the University of Colorado. Actually made the Buffalo Bills practice squad, squad as well. So a very good athlete. He actually has a huge knockout win over MMA legend, legend Mirko Krokop in the UFC. 11-4 record. He's also part of a very popular podcast that you may have heard about. Fighter and the Kid with Brian Callen. And uh, he's also an ultimate fighter. 10 finals. But not a winner. Ah, uh, wow! There you go. Ariel, you are brutal. No, I'm just saying. And maybe it was That's just messed a up. Bro. That's messed up. Did he pay you for that plug, for the podcast plug? Did he pay you for that? No, he didn't. It's a big plug. Very nice of you. Shameful. <laughs> Travis Brown. And why is he the new Travis Brown? Well, you see right over there. He is flanked by Edmund Tarverdian. Of course, the longtime coach of Ronda Rousey, Travis Brown, changed camps before this fight. Left Jackson Winklejohn, now training at the Glendale Fighting Club. He says he is a changed man. He is thankful for his loss to Fabrizio Verdun because it opened his eyes to the changes that he needed to make. And, and he really feels Super confident heading into this fight, glowing about what Edmund has taught him as far as just preparation and, and, and striking and just having the right kind of training camp. So he seems to be in a great place. And also there's been some words back and forth between Edmund and Brendan Schaub. Brendan saying it was a mistake for Travis to go to GFC. Edmund saying Brendan Schaub can't fight for expletive. So I'm very curious to see how this all plays out.